Local Foundation is no stranger to St. Lucia and St. Lucians. Uh, we are particularly proud that in the midst of the pandemic, between 2020 and February 2022, Togo Foundation has been able to make a number of significant donations to St. Lucia and St. Lucians. Last year, Togo shipped about, I think, 16,000 tons of food uh, to, to St. Lucia um, that was distributed by various organizations in St. Lucia. And today we're particularly pleased um, to have Taj Weeks and Angela Weeks of Togo Foundation here with us, as well as Eustace Vitalis, who is no stranger to St. Lucians, um, to be able to facilitate this handover of personal protective equipment to the COVID Management Center in St. Lucia. So my task really is just to say why we are here. I think this is a moment for the chairman of the COVID Management Center and for Taj and Angela from, from Togo Foundation. Um, Mr. Cleta Springer, chairman of the COVID Management Center will also speak about who's here and how this PPE will be apportioned and why. Welcome to this uh, uh, small, symbolic, but very significant um, ceremony, uh, if you want to put it that way. You know, many of us speak of love of our country. Uh, some of us express that love. And, and Taj and Angela Weeks and the Toko Foundation in my opinion, embody, are the embodiment of love of country. And I, I remember distinctly when I received his, his, his very cryptic text saying that um, he has some stuff, he has some stuff for us, um, and he wanted to uh, send it to a source that he would be sure would, that it would get to the intended um, destination. And so I said to him that I had in mind very, very clearly uh, the respiratory hospital and the bodily correctional facility as the two beneficiaries of his gesture. And, and I'm very pleased today to be able to, to join Taj and Angela and to say thanks to them for their magnanimous gesture. As Barbara has told you, uh, this is nothing new for them. Uh, they've been doing this for, for many, many years and the Toko Foundation is, is world renowned um, for, its, for its generous work. Um, this, this COVID pandemic has, has made a severe dent in government's finances. Um, there's just no way that a country like ours with its limited resources can endure a pandemic like this. And we would always go to be relying on support from well-wishers uh, around the world. And governments have also chipped in. And, and Taj, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I say this on behalf of all St. Lucians. Uh, this equipment is going to be put to very good use, I can assure you. It is going to save lives, I feel. Of that, I'm certain. So thanks again. I want to introduce now our chief hardworking. Need I, need I say that? Everybody knows that she's, she's hardworking. I don't know how she does it. Um, I mean, it's 24 seven for her. And I keep saying to her, you know, try to take some rest on the weekend. But she says, Mr. Springer, it's, it's part of the job. Um, and I have enormous respect and admiration for her. And I want to invite uh, Dr. Sharon Belmajaj to say a few words. I just want to indicate that this is our third year of managing COVID-19 in country. And with partners such as the Toko Foundation, I just want to express sincere gratitude for this very timely donation. Um, it is going to go a very long way, the protection of our healthcare workers and our patients. And we have been working with the bodily correctional facility as we have managed uh, a few outbreaks at that facility. So I think the chair was very, he gave very good advice when he um, indicated um, two of the very important areas that those personal protective, the personal protective equipment that's going to be do, um, donated today to, to go to. So I just want to really express gratitude on behalf of the Ministry of Health, um, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. I know the PS and also I want to apologize on behalf of the minister who's, who's doing a recording for the, for the new protocols this afternoon. He would have liked to, to be here um, this afternoon, but he's not able to, to be. So just let me express gratitude and say thank you for the collaboration. I hope we can continue 
um, in various ways supporting because we don't know how long we will continue managing COVID. So thank you so much. On behalf of the management and staff of the Bodily Correctional Facility and by extension the Ministry of Home Affairs, I would like to thank the Toko Foundation immensely for the contribution of PPE to the Bodily Correctional Facility. More specifically, I would like to thank Mr. Taj Wicks and his wife for making that effort, that tremendous effort that even during the pandemic, they are able to go out and seek donations on behalf of the facility. Um, it's not, I know from the end, well, based on their reputation, they would have gotten some of these items for the facility, but in these times, it is, it is a lot for one to give, it is a lot for one to go out and to seek um, these donations and to get it within the quick time that they did. But let me just also thank Mr. Springer. I had a short conversation with Mr. Springer, the chair of the COVID management center. And soon after that conversation, he asked me, what is it that you all need? It was not a question of coulda, woulda. It was just, what is it that you all need? And once I sent the list to him, he told me he will work on the list. And one of our needs, one of our greatest needs at that time was the PP. And he said he will make it happen. He assured me that it will happen. And he kept me abreast as to where these things were um, during that period. So I'd like to thank Mr. Springer immensely for his efforts and everybody else who worked together with him. Um, it's been a while since I wanted to meet Mr. Wicks. He passed, has passed very close to me, even while I was at the boys' training center. But finally, he has some connection now with Baudelaire. So now we will not let him go. <laughs> he will be a part of us, and we will be looking forward to um, his um, some, some collaboration with him to see how best we can move this facility forward from where it is. One thing I must add before I leave, is that this pandemic has hit prisons around the region in a very, very, very serious manner. Um, for Baudelaire, we have 700 individuals working in a small environment. So you can well imagine when one person is infected, how this, first, how this disease can spread among, the, among everybody else. So that has been our case. So we are now on our third or our fourth wave right now, and we are trying to manage it as best as possible. This set of items, this PPE that we have just received there, will go a long, long way because up to last week, we were struggling. So I'm hoping by Monday and Monday afternoon, we can make the distributions as we ought to. But let me say, it is very timely. And Mr. Wicks and your, your wife and everybody else who contributed to it, thank you very much. I've been keeping Dr. Belma very busy. Ask Mr. Terence, Ms. Belma. Thank you so much. Let me thank the Ministry of Health and their team who work behind the scenes and everybody else who made that effort to see that this facility get what it deserves. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. We are truly happy to be here, more so for the sunshine than for all of this, because we left with some serious snow falling. So we're really happy we're here. But, but there's a level of sadness, though, that I have to speak about, that... Um, Somebody would have been standing behind us or between us or giving me two jokes in between. Valerie Albert is no longer here and she was such a vital part of Toko. So I have to acknowledge that first before I do anything else. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, Valerie and I had lots of plans. We made lots of plans to do lots of things and we were getting caught up in agricultural projects and school projects, but Toko came and I'm happy you were able to pivot, you know, to be able to satisfy this need. But before I do all this, I have to acknowledge two people who are here, Elman and, and Alex, um, who are friends of mine from Oregon, who too have a charity and are part of helping me do this. So I need to acknowledge them. All right. Hey, listen, COVID is it everybody everywhere. And I'm really, really happy that we could augment what was happening on the ground by bringing these with us. We brought, I think, over 10,000 masks, over 20,000 shields, about 36,000 pairs of gloves, and they have different assortments of, of goggles and, and masks. And I think we're happier to give than everybody here is happy to receive. So on behalf of the team and Elim and Alex, we say thank you. Mm -hmm.